Hey yo, what's up guys? Baby Bear 4812 coming at you one more time. This time, today, we're doing problem number 116, populating next right pointers in each node. Uh, old problem, been around for a while, but past six months, Amazon, Facebook, Bloomberg, Microsoft and Google have all asked it, so that means it's relevant. If it's relevant, I teach it to you, and hopefully you learn, you get a job, everyone's happy, as always. Um, like I always tell you, if you haven't tried the video yet, if you haven't tried the video, if you haven't tried the problem, pause the video, give it a shot, then come on right back. Otherwise, let's let's jump into it. Um, and there is a second part to this problem, which I will be releasing. I'm still kind of going through the solution myself and, and trying to figure out how to how to best explain it. So we will do that one in the future as well, okay? But this is the first one, and it says that we're given a perfect binary tree, uh, meaning that all the leaves are on the same level and every parent is two children. Uh, the binary tree has the following definition. So it's got, I'm sure, some, some vowel, but strictly speaking, what we're interested in is, is each node has a value, has a left and right pointer as usual, but it also has a next pointer. So it's slightly different than, than the usual structure. And what we need to do is we're told to populate each next pointer to its next right node. Uh, if there is no next right node, the next pointer should be set to null. Initially, all pointers are set to null. Okay. Um, the follow-ups are, are, there are two points. It says uh, we can only use constant extra space. And the second is that recursive approach is fine. We may assume implicit stack space does not count as extra space for this problem. We're not going to be doing it recursively. Um, so we don't have to worry about that, but we will do it in constant space. And we'll talk about how, and really, let me, actually, let's, let's look at this example briefly. And, and I think the problem is pretty self-explanatory. The solution is not the problem is where each node needs to point to the node to its right. So this uh, one will point to the right and there's nothing there. So it would be given a null or none value. The two points to three, three points to nothing. Four points to five, five points to six, six points to seven, seven points to nothing. I think you guys get the gist. And I think that's the only example. Um, sure, we're given some constraints, but nothing to worry about here. I will say that using linear space is an approach that I still think is somewhat reasonable. And, and to do that one, I won't be covering it today, but what you would do is just do a standard breadth first search. And so uh, even before I say that, like this problem is, is just screaming BFS because we're, we're really going at it level by level. So level order traversal is, I think, uh, the intuitive way to do it. There could be a DFS solution as well. I haven't thought about that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you if you have a good one. But either way, so this is I'd argue this is screaming out for a BFS solution. And what we're you know what what we can do typically is we'll we'll do BFS with a queue and and we'll kind of add items in and then pop them out and and in this case there's a way to do it with a queue. I, on my first attempt, I did it with the queue. Um, it, it's not too much of a, a deviation from the standard BFS search. So I'll, I'll leave leave that ball in your court if you're interested with that solution, but constant extra space. Let's think about this. So I've gotten my pen over here and I, I've drawn this out already. So let's think about this. If we were to walk through this mentally, and, and again, this is what I'd always encourage you guys to do in, in an interview is to say, what would, what would this look like step by step, at least first off on an intuitive basis? So intuitively, I'd, I'd kind of look at this one and say, okay, let me step to the right. And if I see nothing there, I'll, I'll point to none. All right. Um, I'll then take a step down and, and look at two. And then I say to myself, okay, well, two needs to point to the right and we get the three. And then I notice, I say, okay, well, where's the three with respect to that two? And it looks like, you know, the, the two and the three share the same, they share the same parents. So if I'm, I'm here, I can just say, well, let me take my parents right node then, but then, you know, you kind of get caught and you realize, okay, well, I can't do that because there's no parent pointer, right? This problem as with most tree problems becomes trivial if we had a pointer to the parent we don't okay we don't so i can't jump to this level and say you know let me let me jump over here so that's one difficulty another one is you know let's say from four to five we have the same issue and then let's say i try to go five to six so i ask myself it's an awful arrow i ask myself how do i get from the five to six well this one's even weirder because well I mean, this five is, is the child of this two and the, the six is the child of this three. So I have to like check the parent, go across, come down and, and do some weird motion. It's like, so that's a, a second problem that we got to deal with. So maybe that's something worth writing down so we can say we have, um, you know, uh, one situation we got to deal with is, is same parent. And the second one we need to deal with is different parent. Right, different parent. So two separate scenarios we got to deal with, and and even still we haven't even answered the first one yet. It's like how are we going to do that? 
And so if you want to try to, if you can really wrap your head around this, this one issue, that'll be, as I always say, that'll be the, the crux of the problem. And if you can get it, then the rest of it becomes a lot easier. So if you think you have a way of thinking about it, you can pause the video now, try it for a minute or two, kind of play around with it and then, and then come on right back. Um, so uh, if you just joined us again, welcome. The, the way you want to think about it is I, I almost use this analogy. So think about, you know, if you, if you have children of your own and maybe some of you do, uh, as a parent, more often than not, I, I like to think, I don't know, I'm not a parent. Um, but you know, when you're, when your kids are young, you're taking care of children, you take care of your children first before you take care of yourself. Okay. So you tend to your children first, then you take care of yourself. I think that analogy actually oddly works in this problem as well. And, and, and let's think about how, so if I actually, I, I want to read, I don't even know if I have an eraser here. I, I kind of wanted to erase this. So let me, let me jump off the black really quickly. Um, scratch this up, pretend it didn't happen, all right, just briefly. And so I, I wanna look at this from, from scratch. And so if I'm taking a look at, at my children first, if I'm this parent node, I wanna say, okay, let me look down to my children and we'll put some sort of condition to make sure that we always have children, okay, that we're, we're going down only so far as we're up until the second last row. I wanna say, take my left child, okay, take my left child, and then make it point to my right child. After I've done that, let me then point myself over to the next direction. Take care of your children first, set their pointers first before you set your own and before you start moving your way down. That's the big picture general idea of what we wanna do. So if you've got the same parent, all that you need to say is something like, I'll, I'll call it cur, maybe, I'll, oh, I'm really gonna shorthand it here. I'll say something like, uh, you know, current dot left dot next, is equal to current dot right, something like that, okay? So, and that just takes care of itself. That'll be one, that'll be one scenario. Now, let's say we're, and then after that, of course, like I said, you know, this, you're gonna apply the same same logic upwards now, or not even actually, and then you'll see why, because when we jump down, when we jump down a level, guess what happened already? Parent already took care of itself, right? So it's literally, it's almost like a generational thing. I, I don't know why I'm running with this analogy, but it's like, your parent takes care of you and then they take care of themselves. Then we jump down a level and we say, okay, well now I'm gonna take care of my children and then I'm gonna take care of myself. Oh, I don't even need to. My parents already took care of me. That was already in existence. So all you really need to do is kind of keep taking care of the child first and then jumping down, all right? So that'll be the general logic. With the different parent situation now, let's uh, let's look at what we do. So we get this one, this one's straightforward enough. So I set my, my current thought left thought next, we'll go here, fine. What about this one now? Now I wanna go from five to six. And remember, before at this point already, this exists, okay? Because somebody took care of it for us. The grandparent took care of it for us. So what I need to say is, if there is a next node, if we do have something to jump over to, I wanna take my right child. So that's gonna be current dot right, and set its next property. So current dot right dot next. We wanna set that equal to my current dot next, my current dot next. So I said that like definitively as if I'm done. I want to set it to current dot next dot left. Okay. Current dot next dot left. If I want to set my left child from my left child to my right child, straightforward. If I want to set my right child to the next left child, I, I say take my right child and take its next property, set it equal to my next node, its left node. Bang. Once we do that, I take care of this step. I take care of this step. I've taken care of both my children. Okay, I've taken care of both my children. They're both connected. They're ready to move on and spread their wings and fly out the fly out the nest. I've done my job. Let me now pass it over to the next one. Right? This is done. This exists. Now let me go over to three. Three is gonna have to do the same thing. Three is gonna have to go to six and establish this connection. Three is gonna have to go here and say, okay, if there is a next node, which there isn't, we're gonna point this way, otherwise we'll, we'll set it to none. And that's what, we're, that's what we're gonna do. Take care of your left child, take care of your right, left, right child, append those connections, then jump on down. You're already now taken care of, you gotta take care of your kids, your children, and, and keep on going downwards. So we're, we're essentially just gonna be going down after this and saying, you know, something like current equals current dot next. And um, this is obviously extremely rough pseudocode, but believe it or not, it's actually not too far from, from what we're going to be typing. And so that was, so we're just about at the, the 10 minute mark. Usually that's, that's what it takes to get a decent explanation. And I hope that made sense. If it didn't, let me know in the comments down below. 
and we'll and I'll, I'll address any issues you have. But I think we're in a good spot to go to go take a look at the code and, and try to hammer that out. Now, I, I've left this definition of a, a node up here just kind of for completion, but quite frankly, I think it looks cleaner without it, so I'm just going to scrap it. The order we want to do things in then as follows is we're going to say this. Um, we want to do some error checking like usual. Uh, and then we're going to say, well, we'll we're going to need to jump into some sort of loop, okay? So we'll, you know, we'll uh, loop through tree somehow, or, 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 or loop through the tree levels, three. Loop through the tree levels, and, and we know that within that loop, we're going to have to do something like, you know, uh, connect left to right child, and then we're going to have to connect to right to next left child, something along those lines, and, and eventually we're going to want to return the root. So we're doing everything in place. We're going to change the tree as it is, and we are, we're, we're just going to be redefining those next pointers, all right? So this is the, just the high level um, breakdown of what we want to do. And so to, to start with the error checking, we again just check if no root is given, we'll, we'll return none. So if not root, we're going to return none. Oops. Otherwise, we want to loop through the tree levels, okay? So remember what we said, we want to keep jumping down until we actually have, or while we have children. So if I'm, if I'm sitting up here, I'm sitting up here, oops, I'm sitting up here, I'm starting right there. I need to make sure that I actually have children for this, this logic to work. If I do, I'm going to jump down. I say here, now I'm going to get check here. Okay, I have children. If I'm sitting up here, I've already taken care of my children. So if I go to the final child or the leaf node, there's nothing for me to do. So there's there's no point in really, there's there's nothing for us to do there. So we're only going to want to jump down until this point, the second last level. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll define a variable that's called, um, let's say, a leftmost node. And we're going to set that equal to root. And what we're essentially going to do is we're going to say, uh, while left oops, while left most no dot left exists, then do some awesome stuff. And so uh, we're, we're going to need to. I'm, I'm going to leave that left most node as it is for the simple reason that I need a, a reference point as to where I am, so I can always keep jumping down. Like basically, when this when this loop is kind of over, um, you know, after after we go through all these these conditions, I'm going to have to say left most node is equal to left most no dot left, so we can keep going down the down the tree. Um, in the meantime, though, at every single level, I'm going to have to be jumping from, from one node to the other. And when I say from one to the other, onto its next node. So what I'll do is I'll just set a, some, some variable, I'll call it cur for current, and set it equal to, to begin with, for the, the leftmost node. Oops. Uh, I'm sorry. So I, I'm realizing here that I, I was inconsistent in my name here, so I'm sorry. Um, okay. So curse set, and now we need to connect left to right child, okay? And, and we're going to be doing this repeatedly as we jump through the, the rows. So what I'll have to do is I'll, I'll have to say while well, cur exists, essentially. Um, do all this wicked stuff. Uh, afterwards, whoops. Okay, so we're going to do all this wicked stuff, then I'll jump to the afterwards. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to connect the left child to the right child. And we're going to want to do that every single time. We always know that we're guaranteed to have children. The reason we're guaranteed to have children is because we're given a perfect binary tree. In the second version of this problem, the I think it's 117, uh, those aren't guaranteed. So then we'd have to do a bit extra to check. But in this case, it's always guaranteed because, again, we know that we're never going to jump down to the leaf node, to the, the final leaf node because of this, and, um, and also because of the perfect binary tree. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll simply say that cur dot left dot next is equal to cur dot right. Cool, easy enough, one liner. Next, we said that we want to connect the right to the next left. Oops. We want to connect the right to the next left. And bam, I got it. So I drew this one out from scratch. It's one of my better ideas. Um, and, and so maybe we can follow along with the code as we're doing it. So I, I've, I've set cur dot left. I started here, all right? It's, by the way, this next pointer is already set to none, so that's why I don't need to change it, okay? We can just start with taking care of the children. I set cur.left dot next to equal cur dot right. Bam, this is what we have, okay? Now, I need to ask myself if, you know, if if we have a, uh, if we have a cur dot next, so if I, if I hypothetically had a node here and it had children, then what we'd have to do is set this one over as well. But I would only do that if I had a next node to jump both of, wow if I had a next node to jump over to. 
So basically, I'm just asking myself if I have a, if Cur.next exists, then I want to do the following. Then what I want to do is I want to take this logic that I was talking about up here. I should just go back to it. I want to take my current node, or sorry, I'll start with my current, go to the right child and set its next property, okay? So take my current, go to the right child, set its next property equal to my next node's left child, my next node's left child, my next node's left child. This is one connection. This is the other connection from, from one node to its kind of its sibling node. I, I don't know if they're called sibling nodes. I'm going to call them sibling nodes, all right? They're two children, same parent, siblings. So this is connection to the, or actually cousin nodes, cousin nodes, I'm sorry. So from one to the next, this is connecting our children nodes. This is connecting our, our cousin nodes. And finally, we need to move our, our current pointer over. So we're going to say cur is equal to cur.next. So uh, move cur pointer. The reason we're doing that is as follows. I'll jump back to my clean version here. We didn't have to do anything in this diagram, right? This one was done, it was already none. Now we set, we went from here. This was kind of our, our, our leftmost node. We jump down here now because what we said is we jump out of this loop, cur is no longer valid, there is no cur.next. We try it, while cur, that's not true. We jump back out, leftmost node dot left. Even more so, I'm sorry. We try to set cur.next. Meaning, I try to go from here to here. There's nothing there. It's none. So we check this. Uh, fail. We jump out of that loop. We set our leftmost node equal to leftmost node dot left. We went from this being our leftmost node to this being our leftmost node now. All right. So we're at the two. While leftmost node dot left. Is that true? Yes, it is true. This exists. It's a four. While leftmost node uh, dot left. Okay, that's true. We're setting cur equal to leftmost node. Oops, keep going the wrong way. Cur is equal to leftmost node, which is this. All right. While cur, okay, cur dot left dot next equals cur dot right. Cur dot left dot next equals right. Good. Now, if cur dot next, yes, yes, cur dot next. It's right here. We already took care of it, so it does exist. So what we're going to do is we're going to say cur.right.next equals cur.next.left. cur.right.next equals cur.next.left. cur.next.left. Points here. We jump the current point over. cur equals cur.next. This is now cur. Maybe I'll do it with the C. And we do the same thing. While cur, yes. cur.left.next is cur.right. Okay. Cur dot left dot cur dot left dot next is cur dot right. If cur dot next, nope, no, right, no cur dot next. If that's the case, we don't. Or sorry, it's not the case, so we're not jumping into that. Now we say cur is cur dot next, which is none, meaning that we check this, we jump. No, that's not working. We set our leftmost node down one. This is now leftmost node. Does it have a child? The left child? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have a left child. We jump out, we're done. We return root, I press run code. Am I too confident? No, I'm not, because it looks like this will work. There we go, you got the job, we got it right. Nothing right now though. All right, so that was that. I hope that one made sense. Again, I, I don't know if the analogy was weird. Like, let me know down below what you guys thought about it. For some weird reason, it just clicked in my head and it got me to stop thinking about exclusively doing this problem with the queue. That's about it. That's it for this one. I don't think it was too hard. I think it's a it's a decently challenging problem, and I hope that you guys learn from it. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Like, comment, share, tell your friends, scream it off the rooftops, the whole nine. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.